Family is grieving the loss of a husband, dad, and grandfather and making a plea to the public about COVID-19 safety. In late September, we introduced you to John Bjorkman while he was in the ICU at a hospital in Marshall, Minnesota. The dismissed man tested positive for the virus on September 14th. John's wife says he died early this morning at a Sioux Falls hospital due to COVID-19 complications. In our top story tonight, Kelloland's Kelly Volk brings you the message his family wants you to know. When Kelloland News spoke with John Bjorkman last month, he told us about his COVID-19 battle. I don't know, it just almost burns the side of your lung. Um, the, the air part that's coming down just burns and hurts. But tonight, it's his family speaking. John died in the Avera McKinnon ICU shortly before 2 o'clock this morning. His heart rate became erratic last night and his blood pressure was erratic and they just said there was nothing else they could do for him um, medically. John's daughter Cassie, his wife Chris and two other family members were with him in his final moments. It's terrible to watch someone die from COVID. It's the worst thing I've ever been through. To watch somebody not being able to breathe. Both women say they think John would be alive today if more people took COVID-19 more seriously. I don't know how to say it like better, but just, you know, like it, if you were to just stay home and stay safe, you know, you wear a mask and stay socially distanced, you're going to like, we're going to save more lives that way. I think people need to really step up, especially in South Dakota. John was just 66 years old. Kelly Volk, Kello Land News. John's wife says she'll remember his love of life. Chris says he loved his grandchildren, education, fishing, and more.